Greetings. Or, uh, <clears throat> you know, considering, uh, you know, it's uh, May 6th, uh, and two days ago, it was, uh, you know, May the 4th. Fourth. Yes. Yes. That does lead us naturally to one topic. Hmm. Star Wars. Perhaps. Star Wars, yes. Yes. Yes, yes. Okay, so we've got episode seven coming out. Mm -hmm. I don't want to speculate. Yes, you, well, you oh, kind yeah. of do. Yeah, I, I totally want to speculate. Okay, but I understand. You're trying to hedge your bets. Yeah, mm -hmm. and you know, I'm kind of like, but I want to leave it alone. Mm -hmm. I understand. Did you go to opening night of episode one? As a Star Wars fan, you know, I was extremely excited. And when I left, I was not confused, but I don't think the result was, you know, met my expectations. Okay. Which, of course, you know, as high as our expectations are, that makes perfect sense. A little disappointed. Right. I'm a real movie geek, right? Mm -hmm. Like, love me some movies. Uh, let me ask you if you recognize some names. Steven Spielberg. Yes. Yeah. Der. George Lucas. Yes. Ben Burt. No. Okay, for those of you out there that don't know, Ben Burt was the sound designer. That's a really fancy name for sound effects guy. Yeah. yeah. That's kind of like saying sanitary engineer for janitor. I don't want to insult Ben Burt. Got it, got it. He's the guy that created the sounds for like Chewbacca and the TIE Fighters. And the ones that we made when we were little kids. And we all the lasers and stuff. Yeah. Okay, so like the... Mm -hmm. He created those noises. Mm-hmm. So we know his work. Okay. Even if we don't know his name. Okay, did I mention John Williams? You did not, not yet. But we know him, yes, right? We do. How about Marsha Lucas? Uh his ex wife? Ah uh, yes. Yes. I, uh, we've had talks off camera about her. You think it's worth having to talk about Marsha on camera? Oh, you know, you brought it up. I mean let you know, might as well let everybody know. Who is I don't know if she's changed her last name. Who is she? It's um pretty much the heart and soul of everything we love about Star Wars. She's the one that put it all together in the one cohesive unit that we fell in love with as children. Because unbeknownst to you folks out there, she edited the movie. For those of you that don't know, editor can make a big difference. Definitely. Are you familiar with the movie by um, yeah. Woody Allen, Annie Hall? I am, but I've never seen it. Okay, neither have I. Mm -hmm. Not a big Woody Allen guy. Right. Diane Keaton is the main character in Annie Hall. When the movie was originally written, Diane Keaton was a secondary character. But the editor got a hold of the movie and went, oh, this is a hot mess. Mm -hmm. And cut the whole thing in a totally different direction. I'm sure the director didn't appreciate it. It got him an Oscar. I'm talking about prior to that. Well, I don't know. But <laughs> it sold, right? It sold. Here's a couple of differences for those of you out there in TV land that Marsha, 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 Marsha made to Star Wars. Originally, Darth Vader was scared away at the very beginning of the attack on the Death Star. Scared away? Yeah, like Han Solo comes swooping in and he's like, doo, 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 doo. there goes Darth Vader. So there's like no pressure. Right. Just some, some dudes out there. You know, shooting at each other, waiting on the force to do its thing. You know, it's pretty good you bring up the force. Now, let me ask you, if you take away, like, Luke using the force, right? Uh-huh. How many other times in episode four do you actually see anybody use the force? None. Yeah, you totally None. don't. It's Not at all. It's almost like an afterthought. It is. So, what Marsha did in the original cut, as it was written by George, George had Luke using his sights... To attack the Death Star, which, by the way, structural engineers, you totally could have saved that thing with a sheet of plywood. Something, a great, you know. Maybe some sheet metal. Defensive coordinator, maybe if you'd launched more than, what was it, three TIE Fighters? Six yeah, TIE six, Fighters? It might, have been six. it might have been six. I mean, it's a small moon, right? Yeah. No, it's a, it's a space station. Right, but it's the size of a small moon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Must and have been it, down for maintenance. You yeah, know? and it yeah. could house Star Destroyers. They were probably all on strike. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because, you know, they, they weren't getting paid good wages. I, mean, I might revolt for that, too, you know. You know, Teamsters and all. Yeah, so only six actually crossed the line, and they yeah. went out and fought. Yeah, they were scabs. Got it. Yeah. Got it. It's always got to You know, because Vader would have been like... <laughs> <laughs> to everybody. Yeah, you know. yeah, you know, like, everybody... <laughs> you. <laughs> you. <laughs> Marcia said, you know, George, you got a really good idea here. But, uh... <clears throat> 
hey, why don't we have Luke, because, you know, we got this force thing. You talked right. about it, like, way back there. Why don't we make it relevant again? Yeah. So Luke hears Ghost Obi-Wan. Use the force, Luke. Mm. Luke, are you okay? Yeah, I'm sure. fine. And then he, you know, does his thing. Mm. And it probably didn't cost any extra other than the voiceover. Yeah, totally. Luke, are you okay? Yeah. Because it really, the force has always been invisible. Yeah. I.e. cheaper. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, and actually all they had to do was like edit out some footage. Yeah. So the film got a little shorter. It worked though. Totally worked. Because mm -hmm. now you remember this force thing. Right. And now right. you're like, ooh, the force, it actually works. Yeah, right up until it becomes midichlorians. I mean, we'll leave that. You out. mean an STD. Right. Right. Well, mm. we're, we're By back the way, on four. We're if on you're four. in a galaxy far, far away, wear a condom. Protection's important. It Put is. a helmet on that soldier. Yes. We'll leave that alone. Yep. Um, but you're right. This is a kid show. Well, not really. A big kid show. Yeah. And Marsha had Luke and Leia, when they're doing that swing across the bridge, mm -hmm. she had them do the kiss for good luck. Because George and Marsha split up between Empire and Jedi. Mm-hmm. George is the one that made him be brother and sister in Jedi. Is that right? So George is the one that made it creepy. Yes, it was kind of creepy when you thought about it, you know? Yeah, because Marsha's the one that in Empire added like that love triangle thing with mm -hmm. Leia and Han. Yeah. Right? The sexual tension's always good yeah, for you know, any movie. Yeah. And Erwin Kirshner mm -hmm. directed the shit out of that thing, man. Yeah. She was obviously very important for our love for one of the, you know, greatest. Uh, trademarks to ever come around. Did you have a shirt or anything on for May 4th? Um, you know, it's a sad, sad day. Mm -hmm. I did not. And it actually made me realize, do you know what I... I only have one Star Wars shirt. And I realized that I have zero Star Wars shirts. So my only Star Wars shirt is the Family Guy shirt. So here's uh, a nod to Seth MacFarlane. Honestly, before... And again, I haven't checked since Disney took over. And oh, there wasn't a whole lot of you know, merchandise for you to really purchase. You would think that such a popular, you know, brand would have like a robust merchandising part. Of course, so, with Disney, I'm sure that won't be an issue. I'm very sure <laughs> that won't be an issue. It's funny you bring that up, and I'm going to cover this Friday. This last weekend, we were talking about Infinity, mm -hmm. right? And I was saying how I know that Star Wars is going to come out for Infinity. Mm-hmm. Dude, I'm not kidding. Yesterday, I was on the Infinity website. Coming soon. And they announced it. Mm -hmm. Infinity 3.0, Star Wars. Mm -hmm. And they're going to have, like, episodes 1, 2, and 3, 4, 5, and 6. Obviously, they have yet yeah. to do, like, the 7, 8, and 9. Obviously. You know, you have people who are like, oh, the mouse buying Star Wars is, like, the worst thing ever. And I'm like, are, are you kidding me? Disney gets, like, five-year-old kids and will wait forever until they get old enough and then they market the crap out of them. Hello, Christina Aguilera and Justin Timberlake <laughs> and Kurt Russell. Kurt Russell's a Disney kid. I was not The aware computer of that. wore tennis shoes. Wow. Right? Going back to like Marsha Lucas, I was actually embarrassed because. Instead of Obi Wan, it should have been Marsha. We need you. But anyway. So, once I. And it was uh, cracked.com, for those of you who want to read it, cracked.com did an amazing article on women that were really important in history mm -hmm. and were written out of history. One of them was Rosetta Tharp, another one was Marsha Lucas, and there were three other ladies, but those two stood out because Rosetta Tharp's important to rock and roll. Mm -hmm. I love some rock and roll and blues. And Marsha Lucas. When I read about that, all of a sudden I went, now you've got the missing element, mm -hmm. right? Because when you watch one, two, and three, it's very cold, it's very clinical, Mm -hmm. But when you watch 4, 5, and 6, it has a lot of heart. You she had her it. touch on it. Yeah. And there it was. Because that makes you curious. Who, did he edit 1, 2, and 3 himself? I don't know about the editing, but I do know that he wrote them, and I know that he directed them. You know, Tito, it, we get so far into talking about what we're talking about that we... We always forget this, man. Mm -hmm. Where are we? We are standing in the hobby chest. We are. Uh, it's on Western Boulevard. It is. It's in Jacksonville, North Carolina. Most of the time. Most of the time. Unless you're in like some alternate dimension. Yes. And being, you know, fanboys, that can totally happen. <laughs> so if you're in the Onslow County area in North Carolina and you're looking for uh, something to do, if you've got a hobby, you like 
RC cars, RC planes, you like building models, you like comic books, you like strategy games, role-playing games. If tabletop you, games. Tabletop games. If you just want to meet somebody new that shares your hobbies or wants to help you spend your money, or if you want some advice, come on in, say hi to Mr. Dan, and he will help you out. Hopefully we'll see you at the hobby chest. Yeah. Does that kill? I think that, I think that covered Yeah, because, yeah. I mean... Okay, so uh, in the meantime, stay safe. Take care. Do great things. Drink more coffee.